welcome to today's video. So it's inevitable at the holidays. You find out that cousin Jeannie's bringing her boyfriend or cousin Donald is bringing his fiance and you never know quite what to give someone last minute. Well, today I'm going to show you a fun DIY candle that doesn't take a whole lot to make and you can make them fairly quickly and know that the person is going to love them. So you're not gonna need a whole lot of supplies. So I'm gonna share with you what you're gonna need. We're gonna get started and we're going to make a really fun candle. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a container for your candle. I picked this up at our local thrift store. It was 59 cents and then it was half off. So it was really like 29 cents. And it's just a beautiful goblet and it will work perfectly for what we're going to do. The next thing is you're going to need candle making supplies. So you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, pretty much anywhere. Um, I actually got this from a teacher who was retiring. Um, I She hand, gave me a whole bunch of candle making flakes. So candle flakes, or you can buy solid bars of candle wax. Then you're going to need some wicks. And you will just, they sell different sizes. Find the size that you want. I always say buy bigger so that you can trim them down. Here's some little candle wicks. You're going to need these secure dots. And this one, I've already put the dot on the bottom. You'll take the paper off and we'll adhere it to the bottom of the glass. You're going to need candle scent. You know, you can use, some people prefer um, essential oils and you can use that or if you buy a candle making kit it will come with a scent this scent in the bag I have here I've got cucumber melon or I have pound cake which is both would both smell lovely then if you wanted to give it a color you will need some color and this is just colorant that I've gotten off of Amazon um, and I as you can see I'm starting to run low but that is because I've been making things so the first thing you're going to, going to want to do is to melt the wax. I've been melting wax in the microwave. I'm going to go check on it and I'll be right back. Here's my tip when it comes to melting candle wax. You always are going to want to melt more than you think you're going to need. I filled this up to the top, to this top red line, so four cups, when I melted it. It literally made about one and one third cup of hot candle wax. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sticker, peel it off. I've got my glass container here and I'm simply going to press it down in about the center of the container. It's not gonna be perfect, but we're gonna get there. Okay, so now I have my container. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to pick my color. Now we have to do this pretty quickly so that our wax doesn't start to um, like subtle. I'm picking a sunset red. And I just put a few drops in there, giving it a good stir. Okay, so I found the correct colorant for my wax. I've got it in here. You can see maybe that I've got the little brick of red coloring in here and it is working much, much better. So I'm gonna get this all mixed in and then we're going to finish up our candle. Okay, so we are all mixed in. So here's what it looks like, very pretty. So now we're going to add some scent to it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some of my aromatherapy to this one. It's Stress Away, it's a Young Living Aromatherapy. One, one, two, three, four, five. I'm stopped counting. All right. Some scent. Okay. Gonna mix that up. So here's our mix. Now I did want to note that you can add glitter to a candle, but it has to be a special type of glitter. I don't have candle making glitter. I have regular craft glitter and it's not the same thing. So if you want to add glitter to a candle, you have to buy special glitter. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my straw 
and I'm going to take my um, wick and I'm going to kind of just twist it around my straw to kind of keep it standing up. You can also add a little bit of tape if you want. It's just so that the wick doesn't move and I'll show that to you here. There you go. Now I'm going to carefully pour my wax into my container. All right, we're gonna stop right there. And I'm gonna gently set this down. I'm going to make sure that my wick is curled and tight. So you're probably going, okay, Lena, you had wax left over. What are you going to do with it? Well, you can do different things with it, but what I'm going to do is in this set that I have, I have little lights that are like the extras. So I'm going to take one of my smaller wicks and put it in the little container and pour the leftover wax in there to make a little tea light. You could also use these to make like wax melts if you wanted to. Ah, things are falling on me. And a great place to get wax melt molds is actually at Dollar Tree in their in their seasonal area because they will have different shapes depending on what season it is. And it's a great way to just use up a little bit of extra wax after you're making a candle. Because like I said, it's better to make more than you think you're going to need than to end up having to keep remaking the um, remaking more wax. That way it's all one color, it's not multiple colors, unless you're wanting to make like a multicolored candle. Then that's a whole different story. But that's not what we're going for here. So now we're going to let this set and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up. Okay, so it's a little while later and I wanna show you kind of what's going on. So here is the little like tea light that I made with the leftover wax. It is all hard already, I can use that anytime. And I'm going to show you the large candle. It's still kind of warm because it's not fully cooled. It's not fully set yet. Um, I In my box, I did have, this is like you could put the um, wick through it if the hole is a little bit bigger, but it's not. But here is what it looks like currently. I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of a divot, and that does happen. What I can do once it is fully like hardened and back to a solid state, I can heat up the top and let it kind of form a like the get the whole top melting and then re let it set again, and that typically will help make that divot but it is still warm. Like it is still warm to the touch. It is cooler down at the bottom than it is up at the top, which I always think is so unique about candles, how it's cooler at the bottom um, because it's more, I think, like solid at the bottom. If you look, it is kind of a different color. It's more um, solid at the bottom than you can tell that it's up at the top. And there's kind of an angled view of the top. You can kind of see where it's not 100% um, like, level and that does happen with candles um it that's just the way the way everything settles when it's um kind of coming back to a solid from a liquid science so i'm gonna let it keep setting and i'll get, show you guys when it's all set i found it so i went ahead and got out my heat gun i got it off amazon and i just started heating the top of it Took me a little bit, but finally it started bubbling. And I found where the hole in the wax was. So I'm gonna heat it up a little bit more and really make sure that the, all those air pockets are 100% filled so that the candle turns out perfect. All right, our candle is done, y'all. So here it is. If you can tell, it kind of has some unique, how it uh, kind of dried. I have done the top with my heat gun a couple times and I finally have got the air pockets all taken care of. 
So this is my beautiful candle. Now the last thing we have to do is trim our wick. I like to make mine level with the top of the glass. And we're all done. Here we are. Beautiful last minute gift and I've even got the, the finishing touch. A little gift baggie. Now, if you don't have like a regular bag on hand, you can use just cellophane baggies. I always get extras when I'm at Bath and Body Works because they just give them to you. So as many items as I get at Bath and Body Works, I always ask for that many bags because I just hold them back for gifts. And then all I have to do is put a pretty little ribbon on it and it's complete. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have ever um, made a candle like this or if you've made homemade candles before. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow for another day of Vlogmas. 